Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in for this video, and you might find out that this one's a little bit different than the other videos you've seen from Fitz and Vig. Most importantly, it's the response more to, to you guys. You know, we write these articles, we record these videos, and we love the comments we get. They're very interesting. A lot of people send us emails. And uh, this one's in response to a lot of emails and comments that we got on an article I wrote about two weeks ago. Uh, I wrote, clearly explained why Brett Gardner is the best left fielder in baseball. And you know what? You guys agree. Now, it might have something to do with the majority of this site being Yankees fans, but uh, hey, I don't know if that's the case or not. You know, I compared him to, you know, the heavy hitters in the left field world of Major League Baseball, the Josh Hamiltons, the Ryan Braun's, and why Gardner's more valuable than those guys. But uh, it seems like I might have left somebody off the list. And, uh, you know, let, let me get this guy's name. He sent us a couple emails and wrote some comments. But um, the guy by the name of uh, Rod seems to think that I left Josh Willingham off the list, left fielder for the Oakland A's. Uh, I can't see how anybody on the Oakland A's is better than anybody on the Yankees. But I figured, you know, this guy was persistent, hit me with a lot of emails, a lot of comments, and, uh, you know, he gets a response. And this just goes out to everybody else. If um, if you have a real issue with something that we're, we're talking about, something we're writing, have a better option, think we're wrong, let me know. And uh, if you pull enough weight, hey, I'll respond to you directly just like this. So let's compare the two guys. So Brett Gardner, here's why I ranked him in the best left fielder in baseball, and I'll keep this short. The original article is down at the bottom. You can click on it and see the more details. But quite simply, he has a he has a war for you sabermetrics guys of 4.4, which is very high among the league leaders in left fielders. His UZR, which has to do with fielding percentages and being able to get to really just get to more balls, I mean, he's like a little lightning bolt out there in the outfield, is 19.0, leads the league. That's for any position in the outfield, not just for left fielders. He also has a pretty solid arm. I mean, he's a little guy, and I'm not saying he's Jesse Barfield. If you guys remember Barfield throwing people out from the warning track, you know, on a line drive into the catcher's glove, that, that was a sight. Gardner's not, not Barfield. But for a little guy his size, you know, he throws a little bit better than you'd expect. He also, here's, here's one that's a little intangible. It's not, it's not watched by the war, by the UZR rating, but it's uh, seeing pitches. You know, that's something that Fitz is a big fan of, when you can work a, work a count. Last year, Gardner led the league in pitches seen per at-bat. That's working the count, that's working a pitcher, and we all know that the 100 is that magic number. When you get that pitcher over 100, now the coaches are watching him, they're ready for that first mess up, and they yank him. You know, he's also second in the league in stolen bases, and he bats leadoff or ninth based on who's pitching. So his, you know, his RBIs aren't up there because, you know, when you lead off the game, how many people are on base in front of you? It's quite simple. He doesn't have those opportunities. So let's talk a little about Josh Willingham. Good player, I guess. I mean, having an okay season, he's their cleanup hitter, so he's the best they have at the plate. He has 22 home runs right now, 73 RBIs. You know, project that out towards the end of the season. He'll probably push about 28 homers. You know, hey, maybe he can get on fire, you know, get close to 30. He should hit 100 RBIs. He's been doing pretty well lately. Uh, I guess that's good, you know. Um, 100 RBIs, 30 home runs for your cleanup hitter. I'll take it. Hey, you know what? A-Rod's our cleanup hitter, and with him being injured, he's probably not going to have that this year. Uh, you know, Willingham also has a couple things that work against him. First off, his war is 1.6. You know, that's a third of Gardner's. So, clearly it would take three Willinghams to equal the presence of Gardner. And that's by fan graphs and the statistical folks out there. That's not Fitz's words. The other thing's working against him, he has 113 strikeouts. You know what happens when you strike out? You do nothing. You don't move the, bat, you don't move the runners across, especially for a cleanup hitter. You know, that doesn't help you. That doesn't help you know, win games when you strike out 113 times. And I'm not even saying Gardner doesn't strike out. He does. He strikes out more than I'd like, 72 times so far this season. He'll probably end the season right around 100 strikeouts. That's too many. Uh, you know, Willingham also, he, he's a journeyman, to be quite honest. He spent, times with, he spent time in the past with the Nationals, with the Marlins, and now he's at the A's, and hey, good for him. They'll probably bring him back next year. He's, he's the best thing they have going. Um, so really, just want you to consider what I just talked about. You know, really, these two guys are, are not comparable. Willingham is the classic Oakland A's player. He's good for them. He's not good for the Yankees. You know, maybe if we didn't have the A-Rods, the Jeters, the Teixeiras, the Canoes, the Grandersons, the Gardners, then, you know, maybe you could, he could fight it out with Swisher to get on the field sometime. Or, you know, he could be a good bench player and uh, play every third Thursday for us. 
So I think that's the best you're going to get out of us, Josh Willingham, and uh, and you, you know, commenter Rod. So uh, thank you. Continue to comment, and uh, everybody else, it's open to you as well. We want to hear from you. But right now, uh, Brett Gardner is the best left fielder in baseball. <laughs>